hakke akuna matata my friend i just have about 10 minutes because i'm comparing the canon c70 with the eos r5 in terms of the autofocus and we know recently the canon c70 firmware was upgraded was updated and part of that part of the improvement is that there's improvement in terms of the autofocus now the sensor have a coverage of 80 percent of the sensor in terms of the autofocus so then I need to compare that against one of the best in terms of the autofocus, that's the EOS R5. And EOS R5 is a Canon system, so both of them are Canon systems, so why comparing about something else rather than comparing from the same mother system? So that's what I'm comparing with the EOS R5. So I have one light that's right now in here, and also I have RGB light that is there as well, just for my back and just in my face. So I try to have little light so that we can see how is that. Right now, I can see that both of them have autofocus in my face. I can see the square that, right? You can see the square. Both of them have that in my face. That is good. There's the both system that I choose in terms of autofocus is the face detect and eye detect. For the EOS R5 and the face priority of face, um, yeah, face priority for the Canon C70. The Canon C70 has, hasn't got the uh, eye detect yet. So, then that's, that's the thing. And also the ISO, that both of them has a base ISO of 800 because I'm shooting both on a C-Log. C-Log 2 for the C70 and C-Log 3 for the, for the EOS R5. And also, piece of information, I have only 10 minutes left for the Canon C70. No, no, the Canon C70, the EOS R5 before is overheat and shut down. Before I get into the rest of the video, I'm giving away this Mavic Air drone, yeah? when I reach 1,000 subscribers. Three simple things for you to do. First thing is subscribe to my channel. Second thing is to like this video. And third thing is in the comment box below, write your name, say I enter. When I reach 1,000 subscribers, you will get the Mavic Air drone. What about that deal? Great deal? I think it's a perfect deal. All right, so let's get into that video. So I'm gonna turn off this light right in there. My, and then we're going to see, is it the autofocus going to still glue into my face or not? Right? Okay. So here it is. Light off. Straight away, I can see that the Canon C70 square that is in my face with autofocus is gone. But in the EOS R5, the square is still there and catching my eyes and catching my face and, and so and so. So, EOS R5 winning this point. Canon C70, where are you in terms of the autofocus? Face detect, eyes not there, EOS R5 is winning. Do something about it. Or right, I'm gonna turn the light on and let's see how quickly the Canon C70 is gonna come. Bam. You know, as soon that the light is on, the C70 is back into my face again. All right. So when it's, when there's a light, I mean, the C70 is really effective when you are very well lit. And we know about the Canon C70. I have many videos that I've done about, about the autofocus, and especially when you have a dark skin like myself, you know, the autofocus is struggle when there's not enough light. So that is, we figure out that the C70 auto focus to work perfectly, you need that auto, I mean, you need the light on. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna disappear and reappear, here, and then we we'll see how both camera are gonna straight away catch me on the term of auto focus, how quick they are gonna be, yeah? I'm gonna disappear for a second. Right. So straight away, I can see that. Let me disappear one more time. All right. Disappear. Reappear. I think EOS R5 is perfectly doing, doing great. And the Canon C70 is a little bit slow, you know, to get the autofocus in. So I'm gonna turn it off turn the light off again, and let's see. Oh, guys, I have five minutes, yeah? Like, less than five minutes. So, let me turn this one off. And then I'm gonna disappear again and reappear. We'll see, is it the EOS R5 gonna try to find my face or not? And is it 
is going to play on the EOS R in the current C70 or not. All right, disappear. So the EOS R5 straight away back into my face. The C70 is not there in my face. I don't know where it is focus on, but I can see, no, I don't see it. Is that here? They appear, no? I'm gonna disappear and I'm gonna turn the light on, we see, and then I'm gonna reappear. So disappear. Light on. Reappear. Oh, we lost. Oh, wow. So the autofocus or the C70 is a little bit slow. Dry. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna try to use fast track, yeah? And then we see. So we have about three minutes to go. Okay. So let me get something, two things that I'm gonna play with. What about what about the this lens, the twenty-eight to seventeen? All right. So I'm gonna. So I need to cover my face completely. Oh. So I'm gonna put it there. Right into my face. Up. Right. Up. Focus on that. Up. All right. Okay. Okay. So let me move forward. Move back. Turn on my face. Move forward quickly. Oh, the auto. Oh, the. Oh, it's already. Okay, guys. Um, I can see the. Uh, the Canon EOS R5 overheating. I mean, I don't think that there is so much improvement. I don't think that the Canon C70 really come close to the EOS R5 in terms of autofocus. And if. I mean, it's understandable. That's a mirrorless camera and that's a cinema camera. And cinema camera always is not renowned for autofocus as such. But I think Canon has done really, has, has improved that Canon C70 in terms of autofocus. But there is something that I don't understand. The algorithm is that when it comes down to their skin, always struggle, right? And, you know, there's, you know, other video that when it's the light skin, it does not struggle. And one day I was filming a mini documentary where, there's quite a lot of people mix, you know, mix people white and and dark skin and all those kind of things. And, and when it's on the on the lighter skin, it just st stay there and does not lose focus. When it come down to the dark skin, it lose focus. So I think that there is something with the algorithm that they kind of need to fix, um, you know, to do that. But otherwise, the C70 is an excellent camera. And I was I was. I was in Greece with the Canon C70 and I filmed quite a lot and I learned so much. I'm editing that video. I'm going to show you what is what I understood about the Canon C70. And also there is some down down downside of the of the of the Canon C70 as well that I want to share with you. All right. Okay guys, so I just want to do a quick test to compare the Canon C70 against this Canon uh, Canon um, EOS R5 in terms of the autofocus. But the EOS R5 autofocus is best is an excellent one so there's nothing that we can do about it and and i hope that uh, with free more update and update and update and that the eos r the canon c70 as well will will come close to the canon eos r5 and especially if they can add like the i you know i detect one right okay so the canon eos r5 has shut down, overheating. Well, that's the downside of the Canon EOS R5, I might say. Excellent autofocus, but in terms of the video, when you're shooting 4K HQ, well, disappointing.
<laughs> but honestly, I'm looking, I'm, I can't wait for the EOS R3 to come up. Yeah, I can't wait. I just wait. When it's out, I'm just going to put my pre-order, yes. Okay, my friend, thank you very much for today. And I hope that, you know, you understand, you understood a little bit. If you want me to do a little bit of more in-depth autofocus, you know, video about the EOS R, Canon, no, no, EOS R5, Canon C70, please do let me know in the comment box below and then I can, I can, I can do that. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you as always, you know, for me, only love, stay protected, you know, stay safe and God bless you and God protect you, my friend. I will see you in my next video. Akuna Matata, my friend. Yeah. Ciao by now. <laughs>